Exactly. In what area of technology mm -hmm. are you proficient? <laughs> Snapchat, Pinterest, Instagram, Vine, Twitter, you know, the big ones. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble. About what? Anything and everything. And we are going to ramble about Kevin O'Leary and three stupid things millennials waste money on, says he. Well, I don't know about these clothes you're wearing, dude. Okay, I get it. They're, they're Disney, but my goodness, that is just um, loud. Or something. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see what he has to say. It's no secret that millennials are in debt. Massive debt. I'm not so sure if it's millennials, but I do believe the generation before that, um, like my generation, which um, I'm from like the 70s, 70s, 80s, I would say the one after that, like 80s 90s or 90s 2000s no 80s 90s but anyway yeah it's all from credit card spending well you know what the problem is with that is you have all these companies trying to promote oh get a credit card oh why wait buy it now yeah so it's not so much consumers that's the problem it's all the credit companies credit card companies that are trying to get people into uh debt Credit card debt in America surpassed $1 trillion in 2017, according to the Federal Reserve. And with living costs continuing to climb, the debt hole deepens. Um, how many times have you complained to a friend, jokingly or not, about being broke? That's probably most young people reading this article. Yet statistics show that millennials are still spending money on the things that experts say sh would co constitute huge savings if they were avoided. Things that Shark Tank personality and O'Shares ETF's chairman Kevin O'Leary says are utterly, totally stupid. So, here's O'Leary's advice to millennials about the top spending habits to quit. Okay, stop buying that $4 coffee. It's incredibly stupid. Look, I know I'm going to get hate mail from all the coffee brands, but coffee costs 18 cents to make yourself. Until you have savings and have paid off your college debt, do not buy a $4 coffee. I forbid you. <laughs> the price of a cup of coffee varies widely across the U U.S. and the world. A 12-ounce cup of Joe from Starbucks in the U.S. costs an average of $2.75. But New York City... New York City is the most expensive location for the chain, charging $3.25 for a tail... A tail? A tall <laughs> cappuccino. <laughs> a tail. I don't know. Uh, and if you want the works with more expensive types of milks, uh, milk, flavoring, or seasonal specials, it can set you back more than five bucks. Starbucks in Europe, the Middle East, and South Asia cost far more, often averaging six to eight dollars a cup or more. <clears throat> yeah, that is kind of dumb. Shoes, number two. On both sides of the equation, shoes. You don't need more than four pairs of shoes. You need flip-flops, something to work out in, and two pairs of dress shoes. I don't even have that much. I have sort of kind of dress shoes that have been clawed by my cats. <laughs> and I have tennis shoes that have holes all through them where my foot is about ready to fall out. That is what my shoe... <laughs> that's my list of shoes right there. Um, everything else, you're an idiot if you're buying more shoes because you'll never wear them and they'll be sitting there for years. In this area, women appear to be the worst offenders. Shoe rate retailer DSW found last year that 75% of women in the U.S. own more than 20 pairs of shoes while the average man reportedly owns 12 pairs. 
I am definitely not average. I don't have that many. <laughs> credit card companies, our credit card comparison app, Credit Donkey, reports that the average person buys 7.8 pairs of shoes per year. Um, the, the, the dress shoes that I have, I've had those like for over 10 years. And my tennis shoes, I think I've had like three or four years. So I am definitely not your average person. <laughs> jeans, number three. I don't own any jeans. So there. Nobody should own more than three pairs of jeans. O'Leary believes if you have more than three pairs of jeans, one black, one white, and one jean original, you're an idiot. <laughs> you have too many. You don't need that. Today, a pair of jeans comes in at about $60 on average, which means Americans spend about $38.5 million on denim pants every day, or $14 uh, billion annually. And women's jeans cost an average of 10% more than men's, says credit card company comparison app Credit Donkey. Credit Donkey, there it is again. <laughs> on clothes in general, women 16 and over spend 76% more than men of the same age, the app found. Yeah, because most men just, they're good with what they have. I, I really need to do something about my wardrobe. That, that's for sure. Um, but, yeah, I just don't. Anyway, potential massive savings. So, you will find out that everybody breaches these rules and overspends. They should listen to me. I forbid buying any more than three pairs of jeans. That's it. The celebrity investor says you'll save 10% of your salary if you just listen to those rules alone. Then you invest that and the market gives you 7% a year, he added. The average salary in America is $58,000. You save 10% a year. You have $1.25 million in the bank when you're 65. So next time you see something you want to buy, remember what I said. Welp, jeans is not my problem, shoes is not my problem, and I don't drink coffee, so none of this applies to me. But does it apply to you? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section. Let me know what you think. Maybe this whole thing is, is re really ridiculous. Um, there is definitely stuff out there that you could uh, not spend your money on. Oh, I don't know, cigarettes, alcohol. Uh, that can be a money burner right there cut that out you'll probably save some money i do agree that you should definitely be uh putting your money investing your money in and stocks because you will get more money back uh that way and i've mentioned this before in other videos and um i put my money where my mouth is i have i have stocks i have shares i've got four shares in apple right now and my goal is to build that up to at least a hundred because of dividends. I I don't like Apple. I don't care about Apple, but they got great they got great dividends. So you know, every three months with their dividends, I could get eighty dollars for free. That's better than any savings account. Um, but yeah, I mean, you definitely want to invest. If you're young, start investing. Start setting your money aside and start investing so that way when you do get to be about 50, 60 years old, um, you've got all this money and you can say, piss off to the world <laughs> and do what you want to do. Financial freedom. That's always, a cool, that's always a good thing. But anyway, let me know what you think about all this stuff. And be sure to check out all the other videos that I got that I ramble about because I ramble on all kinds of different types of things. Pretty much the stuff that I happen to come across that I think might be interesting to share with you. Anyway, thanks, and I'll see you on another rambling video.